artist style right this is the way i get down with the don't sweat the techniques i get artists from all over the world and i got it right here in the united states today i got my boy one of my true favorite artists uh, he's my homie and he's a sweetheart of all his name is maze the artist and he's, we're gonna bring him up for the day probably a little nice little hour of conversation with the artists and how they do it in the world of art so let's get him in here let's bring him in Give me a second, guys, because I'm going to actually be on you with y'all. I'm sorry. Hold on. I'm sorry. He's breaking up breaking again? Up. Hold on. Hold on. Hi, everybody. Hey. No, Paul, let's bring him up. So he's breaking up. Hold oh. on. Hold on. No, he's already in Chicago. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't hear you. Okay, hold on. I'm bringing you up here. There we go. Can you hear me? Uh oh, I got you live, and I'm, I'm, I got a good five bars on my end. How are you doing on your end? There I have one bar, so it's probably my yeah, connection. Um, we can hear you now. Hey, here's welcome everybody. Okay. This is the amazing maze. We got to give. Hey you everybody, a how y'all doing? I hope y'all are well. Uh, maze is all the way out in Chicago, and it looks like they're having a little bad. A connection there, so he might be in the matrix. <laughs> so he's gonna come off and come back on, guys. So, but this is my boy Mace, he's from Chicago, and uh, we are broadcasting live to you. So, give us a little moment. And yes, you girl, I'm here on camera with y'all, rocking with y'all. We're gonna give him a little more second, you know. Hold on. Let's see what's going on. I don't know what's going on. If you'd like to come back in, so we'll give him a moment to get all that done. But in between times, I'd like to welcome both of y'all. Both of y'all. <laughs> well, both 47 people that's watching right now, and I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, I'd like to welcome y'all to my Don't Sweat Techniques with our uh, feature artist today, which is Maze. He's having a little technical difficulty. He was all good in the hood. He'll be back. He's just getting himself together. In the meantime, between times, I like to, to thank y'all for coming and watching us. You know, check out my new online store. You know that I put that in there. It's createmerch.com. Um, I appreciate everybody that's been joining and coming in on the fun and everything. I appreciate y'all having a good time with us. So let's try to get him back here again. Hold on. Let me see what's going on. It's going to take that darn long. <laughs> It looked like he was disconnected, so I'm going to send him another invite and see if that will help. Hold on, guys. Let's do this. I want to uninvite him and then invite him back again. So give me one guy. One moment. We're going we gonna to rock this. We're going to rock this today. There's always a little bit of something, something going on, but it's okay. There we go. He'll be back with us. So as we reconnect with Kenton, I just wanted to come on. And I said, hi, everybody. And I'm getting out. If anybody's been sponsoring um, me, I am sending out today. It's been a really busy day for me. I'm going to be sending out and running to the mailbox if they don't close on me. <laughs> we have those special gifts I want to get out there to you. So your packs is already coming today. So I Today. So, everybody that placed an order, I appreciate y'all. Y'all want me to be shipped out today, definitely. After these two broadcasts, I'll be doing it. And I'm excited because I'm really great that everybody you know, came on and really kind of contribute to what I'm trying to do. So, I appreciate it. So, where in the world is Let's see. I'm going to hit him back up. Oh, here he comes. Here we go. There he is. Okay, we back in business, guys. <laughs> okay, Kenton, we can't hear you now. Maze, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta let me bring back, let's flip the script here, guys. Yeah, there we go. Okay, you clean as a bean. We can't hear you, though. <laughs> you on mute. There we go. Okay, you off on mute. I don't know what happened. I can't hear you. <laughs> you clean though. You clean on that screen though. I got. I tell you that much. You, you just. I can see your pictures. Your, you were 
so crisp, but I'm glad on that part, but I can't hear nothing you said. <laughs> Let me check my audience out. Let audience, see y'all, can y'all hear him? Or is it just me? And I got my volume up, guys, just fine. You hear me now? Now I can hear you. There you go. Okay. There you go. Goodness. Boy, that was a little minute and a second, huh? We, we in business. I don't know what happened. <laughs> yes, we in business now, though. Goodness gracious. That now, that's, the, that's the main part. That's the main part. Okay. Let's back start this over, guys. Let's start this over. Let's start this. We start rewind. You rewind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is my boy, Maze, the artist from Chicago, Chi-Town. Maze, you know what? I'm going to let you handle it since you've been on a, a little uh, technical difficulties. I'm going to pass the mic on to you. Go ahead. Do your thing, baby. Tell it. Tell us where we can uh, find you. Tell us about your website yeah, so. before we even get into the details of your art. Hit me with those links so they can look you up. Okay. Yeah. So I'm made as an artist. Uh, I'm an uh, artist based out of Chicago, Illinois. Uh, I am a contemporary artist that uh, tell tell stories through maze imagery. And um, you can uh, find me on all platforms. Uh, it's just M A Z E. The artists on um, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, and uh, YouTube. Um, uh, also, my website, mazetheartist.com, uh, is uh, being updated right now, so it should be up next week. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much me. Okay, let's get into the art part. Let's get into the art of maze. How we came up with it? I know how you came up with maze and everything. But I really want them to understand because there's a lot of mazes out there. I know I know there's a lot of mazes on uh, hats, you know what I'm saying? But I want them to understand mm -hmm. the maze artists, how you feel about your, your name. Tell us about that. Uh, how I came uh, upon the journey of maze artists? Uh, yeah, that too. Oh, okay. So how, how it came about, well, real short, real fast. I have to make a long story short. But I just want everybody to understand the art and how you came about doing the art. You know, and mm. uh, in your journey because your journey is kind of it's kind of new and it's kind of old in a sense That's it's it. true uh so i think the start from the beginning um like I, at first when i first uh started um when wanting to be an artist uh i was just trying to figure out how to actually uh you know like make money doing it so um i would just jump into like local uh art events and like uh like if anybody had like an art show or something like that i would join that but then um i started noticing that like people would like my work excuse me people would like my work and then they had just walk right past it so i got to a point where i was just trying to figure out a way to like kind of catch people attention so that they could like actually understand what my artwork was about and so they could give my work more face time if, if you could call it that right so um, I thought about this situation when I was a kid and uh, when I used to eat a lot of cereal. So I, I used to uh, do these mazes on the back of the cereal boxes. And um, <laughs> I sit there and do the mazes until like the cereal was already gone and I still be doing the, uh, the maze on the back of the cereal box. So I was like, I thought of that concept and I was like, I wonder if that would work with art. If like people would sit and try to solve the maze um within my artwork so i tried that concept and the first time i tried it um i sold a piece uh, for more money than i ever sold any other piece for and i was like oh this might <laughs> this yeah, might be I'm something good. yeah this this might this yeah this I might be grow. something special right here yeah so uh after that i had started to build out better concepts and um i started to like you know really study you know like different type of mazes and then <laughs> I got into the storytelling aspect of it a lot deeper and uh it just took off and ever since then i've been uh i just became a as an artist through that nice 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 so it basically most of your patients or most of your paintings basically have the story within a story thing like you said you have a right i remember i came to a couple of your pieces and yeah you know, it's it's like a maze going through it and at first i didn't catch until you put me on and i was like oh shit all right, I get it now. And you know, you have to go. And it's very intriguing how you did that. So I, I like that. And so you can tell us about the piece behind it too, why you to me. Uh yeah, so this piece right here is a collaboration piece I did with a photographer. Uh, he, he took this beautiful shot 
of a uh, Navy Fair uh, fireworks show on New Year's. And so uh, I just, I really liked the, the piece. I thought it was like a really amazing photo and I wanted to make that into like a contemporary art piece. So um, that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. Um, it's, I would say about 90% done. I'm just finishing up like fine details and, uh, and like finishing up the maze aspect of it. But uh, yeah, I, I just thought it was perfect for like this time of the year too. Um, because, uh, you know, we just support, support for July and we got all the fireworks going on in, in the city. So I was like, yeah, this would be special you know, to finish something like this and just uh, like give a, oh, it's also an opportunity for people that follow me. I'm doing a, a raffle, I'm doing a print of this piece. Um, it's a free raffle. All you got to do is DM me on Instagram, my Facebook, and just uh, type the word raffle um, and you get a free raffle ticket to be able to rent a free print of this art piece. And may you want to type in the comments too, your, uh, your My Instagram? Instagram they have that if you want to look up your Instagram. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah so. Um, and let me ask you a quick question. What's your favorite paint mm -hmm. style? Acrylics or, uh, see, and I ask these crazy ass things because I know with artists, we have our favorite little niche when it comes down to Paints and my, my favorite, my favorite medium. Yeah, what's your favorite? Oof, you know that's like asking uh, parents <laughs> what's their favorite child. You know, and sometimes uh, pick though. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ooh, that's tough. I would say if I had to choose one, you had to put it in order. You had to put it in like the three little orders. I would say. Mm, it's tough. I think, I think I would go with. Man, but I really love, so I would probably choose acrylic first just because I've been doing it for so long and I understand uh, the nature of acrylic the most, but I really love doing murals too. Um, so I love Sprint. Uh, mm, yeah, so I don't know if I could split those two up, but if I had to, I would go acrylic number one, then um, uh, spray paint number two, and then probably oil number three, and then probably pencil and fabric paint number four. Yeah. That's a nice little stand up five. That's a nice little stand up five. <laughs> I, was, I, I thought about that. I was like, I want to ask anybody what they stand up five. You know what I'm saying? What they go to people. I think mine would be most likely probably, I know number one would definitely be Marcus. I'm a Marcus. I love Marcus. I love him. So I'm definitely Marcus. And then it would definitely be probably the credit. You said number one is Mark? Huh? Yeah, Mark. Number one is hmm, that's, a, that's I wouldn't I wouldn't expect it that one. And I people wouldn't expect it. I, but I do a lot of tagging. I, I love markers. I, I I'm a marker fiend. I love fat tips. I love drips. I love you know you wouldn't know that you'd be underneath me a lot, but I literally love tag. I, I literally love the way letters flow that's that's my plan I love it. if i could tag everything up i tag the whole world up and i wanna oh shucks uh we got a oh i don't tell my camera that's you <laughs> <laughs> or is it somebody finally text put some writing up in his comments now don't be scared guys to have a question or a comment that y'all would like to ask me please feel free to definitely comment down there and uh let me see, let me see a shout out to maze here but yeah, maybe it would definitely be no markers, and then it would be the acrylics, and then it would be the cans, and then it would be house paint, and then it would be my. Oh, uh, I forgot about house paint. Oh, I love. I forgot about house paint. Like I like house paint, paint too. I love house, house paint. paint. House paint is like a. House paint. Is you, my you, you actually told me that house paint is like a poor man's mural. Yes, paint. Paint. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love me some house paint, and then you know pencil and the rest stuff like that and then we get into computers you know and all that other graphic stuff but if they have to go down to the war door of just making up some inks and throwing it in the, in the tube and just hitting the walls and my thing yeah it's definitely be mine so I, I i i that's my thing there <laughs> okay and, um, yeah. so uh, so finish talk us about uh let's tell you about your little journey within um your art career i like markers too by the way i like paint markers too like oh yes yeah. uh this i'm a, I'm a sharpie yeah. Yeah, crank. Uh, I don't know if I'm 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 Sharpie is my favorite. 
Sharpie, my favorite. You know, you know what? He's, everybody's starting with a Sharpie. Right? You know, hey, let's give it one hundred. Everybody's starting with a Sharpie. <laughs> I like print too. I like I like print. I like print too. But sometimes, but, you know, print, you know, sometimes prints they run like they run uh, a little bit. Hey, you, you know, know what? Price, I, I, I should say I should say that just in case you go know, like. Somebody yeah, great games on point. You know, what I'm saying back in the days when they first started out, maybe not so much, but now you know, as time goes on, 2021, everything's yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. So yeah, yeah so. so back in the journey here. So um, let, let, just to tell them how I met, uh, let anybody know how I met uh, our journey together is in Las Vegas. Uh, we met each other at, uh, he used to come to my store. Uh, he used to be a manager in one of the container parks and uh, he used to come to my store and uh, that's how we met up. And, right, that's how you met, right, Ken? Was it the container park? Yeah, well, okay. Or was so, it emergency yards? Then we go, well, we go first. It was, it was, it was when you had your shop in uh, emergency yards. Emergency yards, yeah, uh, we go way, way back. I forgot. Yeah. Right? Just before yeah, I that was before. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that yeah, was before yeah, I was yeah, trying yeah. to anything. I forgot, guys. You go back a little, little let's go back a little century, a little century or more. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, back, so. in, uh, back in uh, here in Las Vegas, and, and this is, and you know you a true downtown Las Vegas person right here. If you was uh, painting in uh, downtown emergency arts, that was a little staple, art, a little heartbeat in the middle of everything. That's when the old stores, that's when the check-in the check stores are still down there. What's that, the check cash place? Remember that? Oh, yeah, you're talking about and now it's a, uh, it's a theater, you know, so there's a lot of nostalgia go down there, and we go way back. Most of y'all speak to When I moved from out of uh, got, um, New York and Harlem, I came over to uh, to Vegas, and my boy Ken definitely was up in there. <laughs> yeah. That's the studio. Yeah, I was in Vegas. Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, so the way me and Tanya met, uh, I walked into a space, and uh, <laughs> I laugh about it every time I think about it. I walked into a space, and I was like looking at all the artwork, and I was like, "Oh man, this is cool." I was like, uh, "I do artwork too," and then she was like, "No, you don't." And I was like, "No, seriously, I'm an artist too." And then she was like, "It's a lot of people that come in here and BS me about being an artist, but uh, you know." It, uh, you know, I, I'm a real artist, and uh, you know, I, I take I take this. I can cuss on here, can I? I well, she said I take this stuff seriously, right? <laughs> and so uh, I was like, me too. And so then she challenged me. She said, Well, come by. Let me see some of your work. If your work is nice, then I give you an opportunity to showcase your work here and sell some stuff. I was like, oh, Okay, cool. So. Now, at this time, you know, uh, the truth is, I wasn't really like a real artist because, like, I, I just, you know, like, I just did art on the side, you know, like, I wasn't doing it, you know, like, to make no money or nothing like that. But, you know, I love a challenge, and the, uh, the athlete in me was like, I'm gonna prove her wrong. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna show her these pieces and stuff like that. So, like, I took two weeks, um, and uh, I did, I think I did like five pieces or something. And I brought it to her, and she she liked them. She, like she really liked them. And she was like, "Oh, you are a real artist." So like, at that point, she gave me an opportunity to showcase some work, and uh, I sold one piece. And like after that, I was just like, I was I was done. I was like, "Yeah, this is this is life." <laughs> yeah, that's the crazy part. Like, yeah. I knew he was a newbie. That you know, I knew he was a newbie. But the crazy part, it was like he jumped right into it. Like after him, just. I guess being around us and just picking up the skills and everything. Next thing I know, you know, years later, my boy's showing at Miami. So that's how craziness, how life is is a challenge to you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad you took that challenge and ran with it. Because look at you now, you know what I'm saying? Your whole life is yeah, like, amazing. Yeah, that's true. You know, I think the craziest thing for me, I needed to see somebody else. You know what I'm saying? They came, you know what I'm saying, from like similar background that was making money doing it. Because in Chicago, we do have examples, you know what I'm saying? But most of the people that, you know, like, usually when somebody makes it in Chicago, they move to LA, you know, and they, uh, mm -hmm. they kind of move where uh, they, uh, uh, I guess you would call it, their customer base is. So, mm -hmm. like, it'd be hard to meet those people, you know, like, because we got some people, pretty big artists from Chicago, like Hebrew, he's one of them, you know what I'm saying? But I think he, he don't stay in Chicago no more. Uh, I think he's staying in LA now. Um, and there's a, 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 quite a, a other few artists that 
I respect and I was looking up to uh, that I wanted to meet, but it'd be hard to meet them because they don't stay here no more. Right. So then when I moved to Vegas and I was able to meet you and it was just like this connection, you know, like, you know, like instantly she took me, you took me under your wing and, uh, and that has motivated me. And I was like, oh, okay, I can really do this. I can make money. Of doing what I love to do. You know, Bodega, that's what I gotta say. We, 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 I was definitely there for motivation. People came into the store and got motivated and blew up Bodega. We, we did that yeah. there. I appreciate all of y'all that's still around to us. <laughs> oh, 10 years ago, damn near, dude. Right? Yeah, sure. yeah that's, that's 10 crazy. years. Oh, damn. I know. 10 it's years. Time's flying. Time's flying, guys. That was 10 years. And I've been in the game way before that 10 years. So it's so I'm gonna new game for but oh my goodness, I went 25. Woof. Woof, time is flying, baby. Time is flying. And I'm still in the I mean, market. Like, I when, I be, when I be applying this stuff now, you know, they ask you, they ask you like how long you've been doing art, or uh then they ask you uh whether you consider yourself you consider yourself uh emerging artists or established. Mm -hmm. are fully developed you know they ask you all these yeah, interesting yeah. questions uh -huh. and uh i'd be forgetting because you know i still be looking at myself as an emerging artist but like now like i've been in the game man almost 10 years now it has it hasn't been out i think i think i'm at eight years like professionally i think i would say eight but i'll I I say around eight yeah yeah i would say around that I would yeah, do that. yeah that's amazing though i think that not and this is, I think that was another reason why I wanted to bring you up here to show everybody to bring you up here to feature your art. Like I always do, I always go back to my friends and my family that, you know, that's in the art game and go back to them and show the world like, where they at now and just, like, just kind of point me live. You know what I'm saying? That art, you know, I hate that statement of starving artists. You know, we're oh, working man. artists. I'd rather you say we're working artists than we're starving artists. You know what I'm saying? We get money artists. We're not. We're not starving, but we got. We just like your everyday business out here that you need service from. You know what I'm saying? And art is a service, and we like to be treated. You know, we treated with that respect of all type of talent and all type of abstract, graffiti, urban, fine art, whatever the case may be. If you're a visual creator, you know, and you multitask at it, you know, and you and you establish to where you establish all the years and that time, the heart and sweat in it. You are a professional artist. Yeah. You know, that was always my biggest caveat about being an artist. Like, I never wanted to be a star artist. Like, every time I would hear that, it would make me cringe. You know, yeah, that, yeah, you know, it's just like that. I feel like, well, why do you keep throwing starving in front of me? Don't put that in the atmosphere on us. You're not starving. I'll be hungry yeah. if I want to paint. No, no, no. You want to look at it that way. Yeah, I'm a Greek person. You know? no, I'm a, well, I'm going to be honest, though. I, I, I will. I can't I can't speak for all artists, but I think my truth within this journey has been like you just gotta accept that as well. You know, like as hard as it is to accept that truth, like sometimes you might have to go through a point of when you when you struggle and when you do start and I agree. And, I agree. And, and opportunities don't come your way and you just gotta accept it because like that was my problem. Like I was like, yo, like there ain't no way that I'm not gonna be making no type of like I'm gonna get a job or something, but when I started talking to like artists that, uh, including you, but uh, I started just communicating with other artists. You never put that type of pressure on me, but like when I talk to other artists, they would be like, "Well, if you really want it, like you got to be all in. Like you can have a job. Like, it's got to be your job. It's got to be your full time. You know what I'm saying? Because like, how can you say you're great if you're not giving the same amount of yeah, yeah, the same amount of energy to it, right? And so for me, I just had to, you know, like the, the way my mind worked, I had to structure a plan that made sense for me to be able to do that. And so then that's when I started doing other stuff, like, you know, like doing sneakers and uh, jean jackets, you know, you, I, I, you know, I kind of got that concept of you doing the jackets and the merch and, uh, you know, just creating a business behind your craft instead of just you know, and, one thing. Is, and I and I the reason I'm professional because if your heart is not into your heart or you don't love what you do or you're not enjoying you and you yourself is not enjoying what you're doing, no one can tell you anything. You know what I'm saying? No one can change. Yeah, that's true. No, that's true. Anybody can give you a hype up and like, oh my god, your work is amazing. 
But if you personally, inside that particular artist, do not feel good within themselves and bring out the love and enjoyment of it, then no, you're not a professional artist. Then no, you're not going to succeed at what you do because you're not enjoying what you're doing. You know, it's only the ones that truly enjoy it that do it 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Yeah, they eat because they enjoy what they're doing. That love and that concept it may may sound crazy, but that happiness with them is bringing out that that abundance with them they're giving out to everybody else. You know? And I think that's really like that. I've been I've, I've been trying to train myself and just with the meditation and everything that I do in my life is just that you know I want to feel good while I'm doing. It. I'm not feeling good or it doesn't feel right inside. Why do it? Why don't you make yourself feel that way? You know, if that's if you feel your gut, your gut feeling all knotted up and all you hurting and your head hurts and you're stressing, that's not a good feeling. Why would you want to feel that? Let that shit go. So I just be like, no, I'm just gonna feel good and be happy. And if it feels good while I'm paying, that's what I'm doing. So that's how yeah, and I then that's that course. And also too, like as an artist and as a creative, you know, like your truth is your truth. My truth was, you know, like. I, I come from like an athletic background and mindset and um, I always was taught by my parents, you know, if you're going to do something, um, try to be the best at it, you know. So even when I met Tanya, I used to come with this real like... Uh, <laughs> Challenge, athletic, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like uh, I guess like macho type... Uh, uh, you know, ego type situation. Like I used to be like, no, nah, like his work is dope. Man. I'm better than him. Like, <laughs> and uh, truth be told, I'm still like that, but I'm just a lot more humble now. And uh, <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't, I, I don't speak on it too much. I just like try to like show it within my work, but like, you know, so my appetite was different. And I just we knew got, if, uh, we do got jokes on our end. We do got jokes. We do got jokes on our end over here. So yeah, we <laughs> <laughs> got some right in our crib. When you come when you come to Vegas and you know we got jokes, so you gotta come right and correct. So, you know, that's all it is. Yeah, because even even when we met, you told me right off the bat, like, yo, your work is whack. I'm gonna tell you it's whack. <laughs> and I'm not gonna, you know what I'm saying? Like some like then we met. It's crazy. And I was like, yo, this lady thinks she is, she just gonna tell me my stuff whack. No, that's not gonna happen. Like that's that was <laughs> my words. I was like, no, that's not gonna happen. Like, I'm, <laughs> You know, I'm gonna keep it 100, y'all. It's just like I, I've, I've been in this art game a long time, and when you're doing the galleries, and, and I had a gallery back then when I was here in, in my day. Nice so, gallery, too. Of shows and everything, and people really think that they are is. And I'm not saying it's not fantastic. I'm just saying, as a person, as a collector, and, and certain things that need collected, and you want your art to sell, there's certain things you got to have in that, you know, in the art where you just put four, five hundred dollars on here. You know what I'm saying? People that's not gonna give up for four hundred dollars for something that you think is fantastic, and I'm telling you, you know, sloppy edges, you know, you got frayed, you know, it just, it just, that's a lot to it, you know. If you want everything to sell, that's just to me. I think the whole package is worth everything, and if you put it correctly, and you package correctly, and you get it out there. And when he came, he was like, drippy lines, unfrayed shit. I'm like, dude, <laughs> where he got his big ass price tag on it, and I mean. I'm not saying that's not going to sell. It might do sell, but I guess I just felt that you step the game up more and, and better and to a person. I seen more success in a person. You go further your abundance by just, you know, putting your all into it. And I think he was just doing it as a challenge and realizing that he has really great potential. He was doing it as a challenge. But when he came back into the artist aspect of it, now his talent has grown to where it's phenomenal now in his own, in his world. You know what I'm saying? So. That's why I'll probably get out. I don't want anybody to think I'll be laughing at niggas' pains. <laughs> no, she do. She be yeah. laughing at. <laughs> yeah, she be laughing. No, I do. I do. I ain't gonna front, guys. I'll be no, I'm just stop. Right. Let me stop. Let me stop. Yeah, no, like, no. In all honesty, I am very all honest. In all honesty, yeah. I think I think I'm probably a lot more. Uh, I'm probably a bigger critic than she is, only because of uh, like. It's just hey, certain I, things that you see. I, I, I think I think it's more so for me, you know, like Hi Pablo. Hey Pablo, how you doing? Oh, we're from LA. Yeah, we have another little artist session here, Pablo. Sorry. We be we be in the middle of the conversation of being transparency as far yeah. as black art <laughs> and actually speaking on it. And I've yeah. been in these galleries and I've been walking in uh, all these shows and I've seen a lot of work that's freaking amazing. 
crazy. And, and, and then I think and then for you me, see the ones that be like, get the fuck out of here. No, he didn't. No, they yo, didn't. like, so like it's like I guess like when you when you put so much work into your craft and you know you try to you know like be like on the same level of some of the greats that you know went down the history and then you see somebody that do something like you know duct tape a banana to a wall and then they say like this is great art and it sells for a hundred thousand dollars you'd be like yo like no that's not you know like it's just duct tape and a banana but what i have came to understand you know beauty is in the eye of the beholder and uh you know that's it's, that's not up to me to judge you know other people work you know it's just up to me to do the best work i can do so that's what gives me balance but like if you're gonna ask my my opinion because you know i think we all are entitled to opinion but you know we're not entitled to like really judge so if somebody asks me an opinion this yeah, yeah somebody asked me my opinion of another artist if they asked me like what i feel like about their technique or about their style usually i might say like yeah that, that's not for me like i wouldn't collect it if i don't like their art because like if i don't see the time you put into it if i if i don't see the attention to detail like it just don't you know it don't do it for me but at the same time you know some people collect for different things that's that's something true. maybe Especially yeah, you know, takes the banana, especially that art that takes the banana. Yeah, like maybe, like, maybe, like, maybe that it. inspired him something in his childhood about yeah, bananas. You know, like Who bananas. knows? You know, yeah. collectors <laughs> and collectors come in so All many different directions, and and you know, yes, so many different types. things. You know, exactly right. yes, right. it can be something that triggers them. But you know what? And I, as as funny as I laugh, and I'm gonna say this is my personal feeling towards things, but. And I, and I feel like art is everything, but I do still be like, really? Sometimes I'd be like, really? Because you feel it. You know, it. You know I used to, I used to take it personal. I used to oh, take that's it personal. That's what I don't do. So that's the I, used to. And I think that's the key for me to, to laugh and, and have fun with things. And I'm not going to lie. I, 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 I can say that. Yeah, I don't know. take it personal. I don't think anyone wants to take it personal because art is a free going <laughs> Form. Yeah. I feel like in, in, in some way, everybody copies from each other in some type of way. You pick up well, certain things from certain people that just naturally just pick up because that's the way you know. Sometimes our mind clicks. So, yeah, I, I I used to take it personally because nah, I that's mean, one thing I you know what, and that's one thing I never done. I never took no one's negative or, or, or gratefulness uh, as or anything like that. I never took it personal, you know, because that's they ask for and that's their view and that's how they felt. You know what I'm saying? That's not the way I see my shit, but if that's the way you see it, and it's no wrong for you seeing that, way. you know, that, you can't judge a person for what they're saying. And it might have brought that color, might have brought that back from way from many pants or that shape or something. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you know. So I, I think I used to take it personally because, like, you know, when you study the greats and you find out all the aspects of what they did to the great, you know, and, and then you know you you might like it's. I think the biggest thing was for me when I found out it was certain artists that wasn't even doing their own work. And I was like, man, like, what is that? You know, like, so it just, it just, uh, I don't know, it threw me off. But um, once I started learning more about like collaborations and uh, sometimes even the thought process behind the creation of the piece is art, you know, like to visualize this piece, even if you had a team of 20 working on it, it's still a beautiful work of art. So, um, you know, I decided to, you know, get out of that whole thing, but that's the competitor in me. Like if I'm a competitor, you know, so like, it's like, yo, if I'm working at my craft and I'm doing it the way that, you know, like, you know, the greats came up and stuff like that, you know, uh, other shit too. <laughs> so like- Do you think so, you competitiveness in, in the art game? To the you said- do I think I can be competitive? I said, do it should be a competitive thing in the art game. Should we be putting things as competitive? Um, I think yes and no. So I, I think it should be like, I think it would be really cool to see like certain things going like cash prizes and people do like maybe like the same image 
and do it in a time frame and, and something like that. I think then that way it can be competitive. They do that now. It's not like this. Yeah, but they don't do it on the like I haven't seen it done on a grand level. Like let's say for instance, what do you, what like, you mean by grand level? Um, I would say like the same level as uh, um, like a competition for like sports or something or a tournament style situation, like where. You have rounds and they get eliminated, but you get a real cat. Yeah, but you US get a okay. Yeah, US like, uh, well, like well, 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 well. Just you know, like this, just, just a significant amount that could actually change the artist's life to where they would put their all into it. You know what I'm saying? Not, not like you know, just something to get them by, but like something that can like literally, you know, make them pay for like the studio space for a year or something like that, or even more. To, so they could really, you know, showcase their talent and put their all into it. Because like yeah. it's like they got that thing in Vegas they used to do. Where like it was like you know you get like I think like two hundred fifty dollars or something if you win the oh, art battle. Two walls? No, the art battle. Remember the art battle in Vegas? Oh, okay, the other one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, oh, you know, but but that. like yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, like yeah. you know, for us, you know, like a canvas alone can cost two hundred fifty dollars. So it's <laughs> like you know, you you know, you ain't go you know like the time and energy put into that you know. So like if if it was a competition style thing that was done right and yeah. you know like it was like okay hey we want you to do this character we want you to do this and you know y'all battle it out and then the winner wins a significant amount of money or maybe an opportunity to work with a brand or something like that yes but outside of that it's really hard for it to be competitive because art is kind of ran by the people that buy it which is the collectors so um Unless the collectors that said they wanted you to compete, you know, it would be kind of it would be really difficult. Um, and then also by like you know the other people in the business that make the business go, which is uh, on the dealers, uh, museums, and etc. So it's kind of it's really hard to make them competitive. Hey L, I just want to shout out Big L over there, L Shabazz. How you doing? Welcome hey, to the Don't Sweat the Technique. And this is my boy May. We're just chopping it up and talking a little bit of art and his art journey. So that's what we talk about. Um, Maze is from Chicago. So if you uh, didn't know, now you know. <laughs> right. Anyways, I'm loving this conversation right here. This is kind of cool. I'm loving the vibe. I'm glad everybody's getting to see and witness that you over here painting it up and everything. Um, we definitely focus on Maze and his art journey in his life. We're just saying how things are for him. And what do you see in the future as far as you, you know, growing your brand and growing what you're doing right now? Okay, so uh, in the future, in the near future, uh, I plan on doing Art Basel this year. I think Art Basel is going to be, um, if, I, if I do do it, um, I think it's going to be really good just because of, uh, you know, the world opening back up and uh i think it's gonna be a real cool opportunity just to showcase uh my work around big crowds again i miss that <laughs> i miss being around a yeah, lot of people yeah. so i've been, I've been so. bringing that up the, the art files are part i've been thinking about it too is like you know you don't want to be in that crowd but you, you feel like with this being a year off that everybody's kind of hungry for art like that you know just get out get out there and look at the art so I feel you on that as far as kind of really yeah. doing something out in our Basel this year. Yeah. Um, outside of that, uh, I'm looking to uh, in the future, in the near future, I'm trying to work with brands, uh, trying to do a lot more uh, collaborating. Like even with this piece right here, this is a collaboration with a really dope photographer. His name is uh, on Instagram is Visual by Jack. Um, he amazing photographer and. Uh, like it was just really dope to team up with somebody that uh love art as much as i do and uh um what else what else can i say that i see in the near future um, um oh i'm doing i'm working on another collection it's called knowledge from the greats um i'll be displaying it in december uh, hopefully at our basil um i'm basically uh remixing um old paintings um from uh, famous artists like uh, Michelangelo, Leonardo, and stuff like that. And, uh, I'm remixing it and doing it 
to where it, it was done in 2021. So, um, yeah, that's a good visual look at things. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, you know what? I, I probably could show one. Show. Yeah, I, I, I can give y'all a sneak peek. Give me a second. Oh, you gonna give us a sneak peek? That's what I'm talking about, right? On, right, right. I'm gonna get a sneak peek of it. Sounds yes. different. I want to welcome everybody who just joined us. Uh, welcome to Don't Sweat the Technique. This is my eighth episode, and I'm here just learning and getting knowledge and just showing how. Uh, my boy Maze and his art. So if you just joined us, thank you for joining us. Maze is going to give us a little sneak peek of his new collection that he's making right now. Um, oh, well, this is one piece of it. I think I'm going to uh, uh, check out and look at this. And he spits out the artwork. All the way out. He's all the way out in Shy Town. That beautiful, that beautiful view in the background he got out there. That's Chicago, folks. It looks like it's hot. Like we've a lot of Vegas. It's hot outside. It's like 90 something. So, ah. now let's talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so interesting. Well, I, I know the bottom half. I know the bottom half picture. Well paint that from. Um, but the top like the I should say the what side on yeah, the bottom left hand corner on my side, I understand what it is, but I'm not catching the top. What painting? You mix two paintings together, didn't you? No, it's all it's all this it's the same. It's the, the same, same artist? Yeah, it's the same artist. It's just I is that the Pinky? Correct. So the coolest thing about it too is so I basically just took I took what he did and uh I Who changed was it? It wasn't Depinty? I'm sorry, I'm you breaking up on my end. Okay, I was saying um what was the artist that you re remixing? Who's the artist you were remixing? I thought I guessed, did I guess it correctly? You did. It was Da Vinci. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, good. I know my artwork, shit, y'all see? <laughs> Urban art, but I know my fine art. Okay, okay, now, nah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so basically, uh, like that's the concept. So I'm just remixing, you know, like uh, some of the uh, famous, uh, pieces, uh, at least the ones I love the most. And um, I'm just doing it in the moderate uh, standpoint. And like, uh, you know, so this piece, um, this was a uh, piece of like a guy, you know, uh, met man. Uh, it's a, you know, it's a whole story behind that, you know, so I ain't gonna dive too deep into that. But- um, And this is coming out into a maze also, or just, just a straight up picture of uh, something that you are uh, visualizing? I'm, I'm sorry, what was that? I'm trying to find a maze in this because I know I know how you like to put mazes in your artwork. Oh yes, it, yeah. So I can't tell you. I, I've been in, uh, you know, gave it away before a showcase. Like this is sneak peek. I can't even let you. You know what I'm saying? Like, like even even yeah, like the like concept. You know, because you know it's like you know I always have stories within. Yeah, it, so you like, do. So I was trying it's to put a whole it story within it. Like I changed the characters. It's, it's like uh, you went to, down to the clothes they got to like. Um, in the original piece, uh, he's sitting on the mountainside, and I'm changing this. So, like, that's why it's, it's like more grassy green than the uh, original. And uh, this character is going to be doing something a little different too. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to, you know, give you a sneak peek of what's what I'm, you know, nice, nice, got nice. coming in the future. I appreciate that. I appreciate that giving us that sneak peek. Yeah, we gotta give him a round of applause on that one. We gotta give him a round of applause on that one. I Thanks, you guys. Appreciate you, man. <laughs> I, 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 I love the concept on that one. Yeah, that's, that's nice. That's yeah, so it's going to be. Tell me again what your, your website is and your thing. and your, your Oh, for sure, yes. So, uh, uh, all social media is, uh, and I'll type it in the chat too. So it's Maze, the artist. So it's M-A-T-E, the 
artists. Uh, no, no capitals, no spaces. Um, on all platforms, uh, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, and my website is also the same, mazetheartist.com. Um, and yeah, uh, that's pretty much just to me. That's pretty much me. Um, uh oh, my can woke up over there. Nice, 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 nice. Well, I appreciate you jumping on here with me today. Oh, no problem, no problem. If you want to be in the camera. Oh, Say what's up. Hell. Say what's up to the people. Oh, my goodness. Say hey, to the people, everybody. I was just about to say, yo, I would have <laughs> been real quiet. He must have known you was going on live, man. He was making noise all earlier. Yeah, he was sleeping. Oh, I ain't knocked out. We can get him some. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Gave him a treat. Fell out. Gave him a little treat. Do a little something. Yeah. Something there for him to go to sleep. <laughs> hey, sometimes you gotta know what to do, you know. You <laughs> 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 was buying on everything before. Yeah. How you gonna do you, when you want to travel? How you gonna travel? You gonna take him with you? Oh yeah, you know I got I got the whole the whole nine the emotional support dog and all that. So, yeah. Are you on yeah. support, huh? That's that's a good little art, that's a good little art partner. But teach him how to paint. Yeah, well, you know, I, I don't have kids, so this is my son right now. You treat him like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, so he, he go everywhere I go. So you go um, everywhere you go. Go teach him how to yeah. get some trade right there. I love it. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh man, it's been a good a good talking to you, uh, man. I appreciate you. I appreciate you coming on at the last minute like this. Appreciate you giving us a journey of the life. Oh, no problem. I appreciate you having me. Um, and uh, I like yeah, I look, I look forward to seeing what you got coming uh, too. You know, uh, you know I'm yeah, excited you know. about it. I'll go ahead. I said, yeah, we got a couple of things coming up. Got people on the hush house, but yeah, I got a couple of things coming. I can probably post it after I do it, but I can't do it right now, guys. There's only some NBA shit. I got you know, can't talk about it, but it's dope. <laughs> yeah, I got I got some big on the on the fashion side uh, that I'm gonna do the same thing. Just waiting on a few things to get finalized. Then, uh, yeah, yeah. anything's up in the so back. Be on the lookout. Okay. But definitely be on lookout for Maze and his new artwork, his new collection for next coming up in the, in the winter time. Um, check his website out, which is uh, mazetheartist.com. Is that correct? Made the artist back on. Yep. So definitely check that out. Um, please check him out on Instagram. Uh, and check him out on Twitter too. And he's on Twitter there too. So check him out on Facebook. And when he's up in Miami, go see his new show. Um, I think it's gonna be a, a great collection. Maybe I'll be with him. We all know, you know, you never know what the future holds. Yeah, I'll be doing another show here in Chicago as well. I think uh yeah, in the, in October. Miami. Either, either September or October. And I would love to get some of that. So you tell me when yeah. the next one. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna keep you posted. Yeah. You know, we gonna talk more offline. So I right, keep yeah, posted. Sure. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, this has been a great show. I am going to start uh, winding it down because I have to jump off and hop on to uh, Clubhouse. If you want Clubhouse, check me out on Verse Yard. Um, Verse Yard is a company that does uh, certificates of authenticity for your artwork, and they are on the blockchain. They've been doing this for a couple of years, and now they went uh, NFT way, which I'm going to. We all gonna have to go in the future second set. So I've been working behind the doors and behind the scenes with the with the uh, NFTs and working on that. So that's gonna be coming soon. Uh, check us out next Tuesday. Uh, I got to do, I do artist mobile. You're gonna see what artists I have come up or what product they're gonna send me to try out on the show. Either way, if you want to try out for the show or you want to try your product on the show, please hit me up on. Urban Art AF at gmail.com. That's Urban Art AF at gmail.com. And don't forget to check out my boy Maze. Maze, give one more time for your website and everything. It's so like, you know, you can touch it down. Yeah, there. it's a uh, Maze the Artist on Instagram, Maze the Artist on Twitter. Uh, what else? I'm on oh, Facebook. Um, 
and my website is mazeartist.com. Uh, oh, my website is under construction because I'm uploading some new products, but uh, it should be done by next Monday. So, yeah, so Maze Artist on all platforms. Um, also, um, you can always DM me for collabs or any custom artwork that you need done. And yeah, that's me. This little dude go get an Instagram too, because uh, you know how much he be in my camera shots. He need one. <laughs> nice. nice. <laughs> <laughs> Look at one too. We gotta get his little shout out in there, you know. You know. Yeah, yeah, you know. We gotta get Carter. the puppy love up in here. Right? We all puppy lovers up in here. Right? Caught the dog, yeah, man. It's oh, funny, man, man because uh, he he balanced me out. He keep me. From, you gotta um, keep away if you make it. That's a pretty fire right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta get you one. It's time to get you a dog. I know. I got you. You know what? I've been thinking about that lately, like. I'm gonna have to go get me my little baby pit and just be happy with my, me and my dogs. Me and my road dog. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's cool, man. Usually dog. when it, usually when I do interviews, uh it'd be uh you know from somebody you don't know. So it would be cool doing an interview with somebody you know. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. All right, guys. So we are going to definitely wind down. Thank you again, Mays, for coming on. I appreciate you. With much love. And appreciate everything. you. Definitely. We talk soon and talk again. Bye, Mays. Peace. See y'all later. Peace. That's our boy, Mays. I appreciate every last one of y'all for coming on, checking me out today. Yes, I am showing the visual of me. <laughs> I don't usually do that, but you know, you gotta have a, you know, a host to talk to y'all and everything. So, I'm, I'm, so I want to thank y'all again for coming on Don't Sweat the Techniques, episode eight. Uh, definitely check out episode nine. We got another artist or product. I love being spontaneous. I love this, you know, hitting you with some nice little conversation and the water. So definitely stay tuned. You know who might be on. You never may know who I might have on here. Trust and believe. So stay tuned. I appreciate you asking one of y'all. See you next Tuesday at noon. Much love and respect. Bye, guys.